Hi everyone, my name is Bhavan Singh and I'm here today to talk about the fourth virtue of an enlightened leader, which is humility. Conventional wisdom had it that the higher you spurt, the more you got to be curt. And of course, why not? Because a leader was conventionally supposed to carry a majestic air of authority to make sure that the leader has that invincible look so that the leader's wish is everyone's command. How does that approach work today? You think it does? No, my friends, it doesn't. It may have worked in the 70s, 80s, 90s, but with today's millennial youth, it's likely to be a recipe of disaster. And why is that? Because for today's millennial youth, to make them perspire, you need to get them to be inspired. To get them to strive, you need to give them loads of smiles. And it's precisely for this reason that in our executive coaching sessions, we introduce a concept called the enlightening leader's humble hat. Well, something like this. Looks good, right? And don't worry, if you're a turban gentleman like me, this is not a literal lack, but more like a metaphor. When we say the word humble hat, it simply means the three virtues which define a humble, enlightening leader. And these virtues are H stands for helpful, A for accessible, and P for transparency of thought. Let me explain them briefly. The first virtue, which is helpful, essentially means something which an old philosopher Rumi once said, if you can't be a lighthouse, be a lamp. Be a ladder if you can't be a light board, but whatever you do, give them solutions and hope. Today's millennial, my friends, is looking at its leaders and in today's context, the leaders are supposed to think that not what the organization and the employees can do for you, but what you can do for the employees. And a leader who becomes a solution provider, helpful in approach, makes great and absolutely powerful bond with all the employees and simply gives a drastic boost to the loyalty in the organization. The second virtue, accessible. If to you they can reach, they surely follow what you preach. Yes, my friends, accessibility in today's context simply means 24 by 7 availability to be able to reach you when they want. And this will be one secret which will once again forge a very strong bond of trust between you and your employees as a true enlightening leader. So be accessible to them. Have an open door policy. Reach out to them. Maybe some weekly interactions, monthly interactions. There are organizations which conduct CEO talks, phone calls with CEO. Why not start something like that in your organization? And finally, the third one, transparency of your thoughts. Friends, do you know which is the most abused word in the corporate context? Confidentiality. Because the irony is something which is confidential is usually known to all except the ones to whom it may have really helped you better. So transparency of an enlightening leader means a leader who is ready to share his or her thoughts, worries, aspirations, ambitions, challenges, connect to them, talk to them. Don't be worried in sharing your true feelings with them because once they are able to understand you, they will truly believe you. At our web coaching center, when we work with executive leaders, we work hard to give them the humble hat so that no matter what, they make great bonds with their organizations and make them very successful. This is Gagan Singh signing off for the day and may the power of humble hat ever be with you. Thank you.